Sometimes the most powerful ideas are the simplest. Buenos días, señora. Buenos días, señor. Antes que nada, sepa disculpar esta breve interrupción. We believe in the 21st century, people can make decisions about their lives themselves without giving up that power to politicians. Representative democracy is broken. And our movement is a Trojan horse that will bring the people back into the system. Something is clearly not working. All over the world, we're seeing protests or apathy. And the problem is this. Our democracy has remained the same for the past 200 years. We are 21st century citizens interacting with 19th century institutions. Respond to my colleague. <laughs> Today, we can speak for ourselves in almost every aspect of life, but we can only tell our governments what we want once every few years. And in between elections, we must remain silent. We can work with people we'll never meet. We can access information anywhere. We can express ourselves in a thousand new ways. But we have no say on whether a new supermarket is built in our town or how the local bus service is run. So democracy must evolve, from asking citizens just to vote to putting them at the heart of everyday decision making. Mario es comunista, es socialista, se viste de rojo, eh, toma hongos. Este, Pero este es Wario. Y este es Wario. Y Wario es el capitalista. Exactamente. Es el anti-Mario. When we are not discussing video games, we are discussing how to bring politics into the 21st century. We've just arrived here in Silicon Valley to develop our software. It is called Democracy OS. We're a movement from Argentina. We are coders and political scientists, and our ideas come from the long struggle to build democracy in Latin America. There's a big demand for this kind of technology in order to have a much more intelligent way for citizens to engage in public matters. Democracy OS is a very straightforward application. You basically you get locked into the app uh, and start seeing the, uh, the different bills are being debated in Congress. And you can navigate throughout these projects. Here, for example, uh, I can get into a particular bill about student loans for education. And I see a very simplified explanation of what the bill is about. And uh, once uh, I see that, I can also engage in a debate with other citizens, see the best arguments, and finally you can vote. You can vote just as if you were a legislator yourself. You can vote yay, nay, or abstain. So far, the software has allowed people in Tunisia to comment on proposals for a new constitution. It's opening up consultation on open government in Mexico and it's helping people write new ethics rules for political parties in Spain. The key to its success is getting politicians to accept that citizens have a role in everyday policy making. Technology alone is not going to do the trick. The powerful will want to stay in power. Protest. Established political parties would not easily give up their monopoly on decision making. <laughs> And so to get real change, we decided we had to hack the system from the inside. So, in Buenos Aires, our hometown, we created a whole new type of political party. Our candidates, if elected, would vote according to how they're directed by the people. Partido de la Red, it means the network. We placed a huge Trojan horse outside the city parliament to show that the people wanted to be heard inside its walls. We won 22,000 votes in local elections. Not enough to win a seat, but now the city listens to the network. In the city of Buenos Aires, there was a, this bill about working conditions and pay and working hours for nurses in public hospitals. And it actually got into Congress and it's being debated right now because a lot of people participated on Democracy OS and it was a bill that had no chance of getting there if it wasn't for this like whole bunch of people that actually moved it online. My generation has been very good 
at using technology to organize, to protest, to agitate. Occupy. But we also must admit that so far we haven't achieved real change. Criticism can be easy. It's harder to articulate alternatives to what we see. It's harder to form political alliances. It's hard to make change happen. <laughs> but we must move from protest to construction. The internet has changed many things. Culture, commerce, communication and media. But so far, it has failed to change one key area of our lives, politics. It's time to decide what democracy looks like in the internet era. <laughs>